The year 2019 for the entire euro zone economy was, was characterized by a very interesting and unprecedented discrepancy between strong private consumption, domestic demand on the one hand side and a manufacturing meltdown on the other hand side. So this has been, we've never seen this before. And for the year 2020, it means something's going to give. In our view, it will be uh, industrial production because what we have seen over the last couple of months is that at least soft indicators like the IFO index has have started to rebound. We've seen, we expect GDP growth to move close to 1% in the year 2020 for the Eurozone as a whole. Because what we've seen so far with the new ECB president, Christine Lagarde, it is a continuation of the policy that we've seen under Mario Draghi. So what the ECB, in our view, will do, then we might see a recalibration of monetary policies. Recalibration for the ECB would mean maybe reducing QE and at the same time also start to increase the negative um, deposit rate to, to closer to zero, show that it's aware of the adverse effects for the financial sector, also in for, for savers, for, for pension funds, while at the same time not making this a starting signal that the ECB will engage in a series of rate hikes. And this is it for the Eurozone economy looking into 2020, a slightly brighter future, but nothing to really write home about.